Again, a video, guys, in this most boring series on the Melzo directions, in which I try to answer your comments, your uh, questions, perhaps, and your doubts about what I was saying in the previous one. We have seen some um, very nice questions by Olof and Herman Musico. Uh, this is the way you should not phrase it. <coughs> GC Fiscus. By the way, Fiscus in Dutch is like someone who's working with the tax administration. So I don't know if that's the same in the in the country you live in, but um, it gives a negative connotation to start with. I'm just joking, huh? But it's it, it's it's what it is. Fiscus here is like you don't want these people to come over, you know. <laughs> Anyways. To interpret intended time as a whole beat principle is absurd. Well, nothing is absurd in this world except starting a war, perhaps. At the beginning of the section, he mentions 4-4 time, which implies pretty clearly that intended time is representing the meter of a bar. Again, we went over that. How many times do I have to say that time has another meaning? I can multiply this many times. I mean, really? What time did the author wrote this text? In a time signature then also i mean so once an author starts saying this is for for time for the entire rest of the article or book he is he set the parameter or the the interpretation is like every time he used time it's time signature and time signature is bar time can mean bar measure i mean yes but it has multiple meanings can we agree on that so this is just I mean, if you should, I mean, the advice I would have is like, don't go from a position you take and to see only what you mean. If you, if you define time only by bar, because the author said at the beginning, time signature runs. Yeah. Time means clock time. We would say in Dutch, the hour. We, we don't we don't ask what time is we we ask in Dutch what hour is it so we see our language is actually pretty accurate right we have multiple terms for different things in English sometimes German I mean we also have that of course give me the time time signature um, tempo measure even time signature is not really the same as bar you know that's multiple meaning so that doesn't make any sense the fact that you still choose to interpret it the way you want is absolutely bewildering. Well, yes. This part of his sentence regarding intended time, following by the semicolon, but not the two beats produced by the motion from one side to the other, clear as day, clear as day, it's impossible to misinterpret unless you've buried, buried yourself in a delusion. Thank you. Seriously, a fascinating thing to watch you and this community cope with instructions from the creator. I mean, come on, I'm not going even to read it completely. So, again, time here, if time here means measure, then there is an inconsistency from a single beat perspective that the entire text makes, that makes the entire text worthless. Presto indicated by whole bars, well, I'm sorry, but each beat is part of that. And by the way, again, I repeat it, we don't know if this text was written by Melzel, it's not important, but at the minimum, do your homework. I said at the beginning of this series, it's super important to know if you are biased upfront or not you can you should be biased when you go in but you do it you have to do it from the from both sides what's the problem do we have a problem if you say listen well the metronome marks do not pose a problem i know i'm repetitive i'm i said at the beginning this will be the most boring series ever made and i'm going to do my best to really make it turn it to make it the most boring uh, video series every my ever made because we have to be repetitive so if you say there is no problem, you can only say when you can demonstrate. I mean, it's unacceptable for anyone, for anybody to say, I don't see a problem when you cannot prove there isn't one. You should be a top musician making that claim. 
if I use the term amateur now in the sense of you're not you're not a trained conservatory level musician that is on stage and performing at the highest level, you're out of the game to say this. It's easy, eh? Luzitsa can do all of that. Oh, Polini, have you ever heard Schiff? Yes. And they're playing all too slow. Some of them reach some numbers, yes, in single beat, but that's not the thing, eh? We have thousands of metronome marks. Can you reach them all? If not, be silent. If yes, let me hear that. Some, some freak out eh, when I do that. But it's common sense, guys. When GC Fiscus is not able to show me that there is no problem, that we are a community of like delusional, delusionist, delusional people, that going after something that is not existing, then show it to me. And until that, the metronome problem is a problem that serious people have been talking about for over a century right now. So I'm not the only one. Eh? The book will list a lot of them, even those uh, voices that you would not expect. You would not expect someone like Z Zander, Gardner, Norrington, Schiff to be very doubtful about metronome marks. They were. They were slip of the tongues, perhaps. Freudian slips, perhaps. Well, luckily, we live in a digital age. Everything is being, you know, registered. And certainly what these people say in interviews. So it's searchable thanks to Google. So, yes, we have, we have their quotes. And even they doubt. Not publicly. Often. So it's not up to GC Fiscus to doubt anything. But if we cannot define the problem, there is nothing to be researched, right? Then this text is just one of those many texts that doesn't make any sense. If time in the last paragraph, in that famous sentence, really meant bar, then the entire text falls apart. Its entire system falls apart. And I showed you that before I show it again, 1829, don't freak out. It's just the same encyclopedia that's open here. If you find another one of that time that has the same, um, you know, fame as this uh, London encyclopedia, volume 3, 715 page, I think. I mean, I think it's like 21 volumes of 1000 pages. And there it says beating time, each motion down and up is called a time or measure. So but not the two beats produced by the motion from one side to the other. The intended time is part of that. Every tick is part of the intended time. Time being... Oh, where it is. Each motion down and up is called a time or measure. I mean, guys, that's not me who wrote that in 1829. Eh? So no, this, this comment is, first of all, I mean, yeah, I'm... Pff. I don't I basically don't mind but you you can you can you can ask you can do better not only in style but also in uh, doing your homework again guys if you comment it's super important for me to take I mean I'll I'll take your comments serious for this video huh because it's an important text and I will be repetitive, I, I told you that. But if you want my attention, I appreciate it if you would summarize my position first. That's how research works. You give the other side, the opponent, if you wish, or the, the person you want, or the work you want to correct, maybe entirely or just partly, you just give a summary the summary first of what actually according to you is meant there it's imperative it's super important you do that you cannot just hit a, a hole in the air as we say in dutch and say like it's all wrong and that, that's what i believe no mr winters in case of gc fiscus or other people whims point according to my understanding is that in this Melza directions text there is an inconsistency if we don't read it from the whole beat perspective he sees a problem in connecting the general understanding that 
Allegros are in general marked with a minimum, then the author says in full fourth time the rod should beat whenever possible the quarter notes and in the next paragraph the Allegro is again taken as an example where it's marked as a minimum but there the, the machine beats the minims. where in the previous paragraph it was said it marks the quarter notes. So in the understanding of whim there are two meanings of beat used here in the same text. First meaning whenever it beats the quarter notes is a single beat whenever it's used in, the, in, in general use like the machine each beat falls uh, aligns with the minims there it's used in full beat and his point as he see it, sees it is proven in the last paragraph where the author explains explicitly what he means by beat at are the text so to remove any kind of uh, inconsistent reading that um, that might occur to you so if you summarize my position that way, that's where your argumentation and your counter-argumentation starts, not just in the open air. That's not how it works. And the problem is, then I'll have to make a lot of these very boring series of answer videos because I will have to come back to the initial point time and time again. If you cannot reposition that point that I've just summarized for you just by memory, well, then there is nothing to talk about. We keep repeating the same times things over and over again. Again, not for this video series, I mind, because you left these comments and I'm just going over them. And we'll see where it ends. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon again. Bye.